The Earth sits squarely in the sun's habitable zone. A star's habitable zone is the distance range around a star where planets can have liquid water on their surface. Astronomers have been excited to find that about 40% of red dwarfs have approximate Earth-sized planets orbiting them, many of which are in the star's habitable zone. This fact has led to the suggestion that these planets could have life on them. Because red dwarfs are fainter and cooler than the sun, a planet orbiting within a red dwarf's habitable zone would be much closer to the star than the Earth is to the sun. As a result, such planets would have a very strong tidal force with the star. A new study shows that these tidal forces may dry out Earth-sized planets orbiting within the red dwarf's habitable zone, making them more like Venus than the Earth, and therefore hostile to life. This is because a planet not in a perfectly circular orbit would get stressed and squeezed as these forces change during the planet's orbit. Such tidal stretching and squeezing heats the planet up. As a result, such a planet with liquid water orbiting a star whose mass is less than one-third that of the sun would get so hot that its water would evaporate the light from the star would then split the water vapor into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen would escape into space, and the oxygen would combine with carbon to form carbon dioxide, thus producing a Venus-like planet. The result is that so-called Earth-like planets orbiting red dwarf stars are hardly Earth-like. These planets are more like Venus and totally hostile to life. This shows how unique our solar system and the Earth are.